Mic check one, mic check one. And here comes audio. Testing one, two, one, two. We got uh, Cade Lyco and Joe Hollier and Jennifer Hollier here in Texas City. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Jay's here also. Um, we got a new um, headset for Cade that came in that the uh, Booster Club paid for. It's beautiful. So that's pretty awesome. All right, you want to hear? You want to hear Cade real quick? Who doesn't? Cade, Joe? Cade, go ahead. Who doesn't want to hear me, Joe? <laughs> Talk for thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. I don't know if I got enough to say in thirty seconds. Aside from that senior moment of trying to find this ball field today, where I couldn't, <laughs> for some reason, remember where in the heck I was going, even though I've played here, my son's played here, I played men's league baseball here, I've been here, <laughs> I don't know how many times, and for some reason, it's not my fault. <laughs> it just was escaping my brain today. But I made it. It's Carol Freeman. And it is a beautiful night for baseball. This Joe. Oh. Uh oh. This Joe. Leland. I got y'all both on here. Okay.
Matchup between Transwood Mustangs and your Tennessee Series. Tonight's game is being played according to the rules of the University Interstellar League and the National Federation of State High School Association. We remind you that the Interstellar events are an extension of the classroom. He sent the wrong cable. An attitude of good sportsmanship be upheld by all spectators, players, coaches, and thank you for your attendance. And now, to introduce tonight's lineup. Friends with Mustangs. Number two, Peyton Adams. Number five, Dawson Henson. Number one, Dane Perry. Number 13, Kyle Lockhart. Number 10, Aiden Percy. Number 24, Matt Lotta. Number six, Drew Smith. Number three, Caden Wells. Number 11, Lane Vegas. Number 22, Blake Incarnacion. And now for your Texas State Stingerees. Number four, Joey Duran. Number two, DJ Fuentes. Number eight, Peyton Young. Number 12, Tyler Ramos. Number 17, Clyde Botow. Number five, Pete Hill. We're live though. Number 18, Nathan Hugnall. Number 11, Brandon Hernandez. Number one, Joe Grant. In reserves, number three, Ben Saldivar. Number seven, Gabe Luke. Number nine, Jaden Morales. Number 10, Austin Helmers. Number 14, Lane Malberger. And number 15, Ryan Pope. And your head coach, Dan Rumsey. Assistant coaches, Marshall Skinner, Nathan Duke, and Brian Tollett. At this time, please rise, remove your caps as we play our national anthem. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Texas City. I'm Joe Hollyer, along with Cade Lyko, as we get set to bring you a live broadcast here on Big Daddy Media Network between the Friendswood Mustangs and the Texas City Stingerees. Friendswood comes into this game on a two-game losing streak in district, district after being swept by Santa Fe. Uh, last week, and uh, I looked that up, Cade, and it's been since 2018 since the Mustangs lost two games in district play, and uh, ironically, it was Santa Fe that did it to us <laughs> then, too. Um, but going into tonight's game against uh, Tech City at 9-10-1 and one overall, but tied with us for third and fourth place at 2-2. Two and two. We've got uh, a couple of teams up above us, Santa Fe and Galveston Ball are, and are at 3-1 and one in District 18-5A, so Friendswood and Texas City looking to try and keep pace uh, with those two ball clubs uh, in this game tonight. Yeah, looking for Friendswood to bounce back here. Tough week last week, like you mentioned, and find themselves in some unfamiliar territory uh, here recently. Like I said, 2018, I knew it had been a while, but 
Didn't realize it was that long. That was back when my son was on the team. So. Well, I'm like you. I had I started thinking about it. Like, when's the last time this happened? And it's been a while, right? Because uh, I know we've had such uh, success here in the last few years. So I had to go back and uh, do some digging. It'll be uh, Alec Lozano on the bump for the Stingerees, and it'll be Kyle Lockhart on the mound for your Mustangs uh, here tonight. Galveston Ball is playing uh, Laporte, and Manville is playing Angleton in the other uh, district matchups. Um, so that means Santa Fe has a bye, but I believe they are playing a couple of games against uh, Clear Creek or Clear Lake. I can't remember which one it was, just to stay sharp. Not a, not a bad idea, you know, in your bye week because you just sit around, you know, and they, I say they're hot right now. Keep playing ball. Yeah, you want to stay sharp, like you said, and uh... – I think that's a, a good move by the coach there, Ronnie Wolf, to to do that. <clears throat> Definitely. I mean, they're they're playing some really good ball, really gritty baseball, and um, after two big wins, you just want to keep that going. Back in the lineup tonight is Dane Perry, uh, after missing a couple of games, so that's good to see him back in the lineup. Uh, Peyton Adams is going to lead it off for the Mustangs. Yeah, Adams hitting 351 on the year and 57 at bats, so kind of picking up where he left off last year. Just finds a way to get on base and definitely is a spark in his lineup. This has been a um, hit and miss place for us. We've had a lot of su success here lately, but games have been tight. If you remember, it wasn't too long ago when uh, we had to have Goolsby's uh, heroic home runs. The, <laughs> you know, that game was all but lost until Goolsby went yard. And, uh, and that was kind of a turning point in that season, too. I mean, it really set the tone for the rest of the year. Goolsby coming up huge and, and, uh, really started something special that season. Ball down low to Adams. Grounded right side. Big hop for the second baseman. Got Kind of caught in between. He's going to beat it out. Took way too long. It'll be an infield hit. Yeah, can't give him an error on that. He did field it. He had a little bobble there, but fielded it. Double made a strong five. throw to first, but Double Peyton three. hustling out of the box right off the bat. And Beat it out. And this is a guy we're waiting to get going. Here's Dawson Henson. Yeah, moving up in the lineup tonight. Henson batting 391 and 23 at bats on the year. Sidelined a bit by the knee injury, but he's back and back up on the top of the order here. So expect good things. Ball down the dirt. Good, good read by Peyton Adams. He's going to go all the way to third base as he, uh, oh, thinking about going home here. <laughs> Texas City has got the, the jitters here tonight, throwing the ball around a little bit, and uh, Peyton Adams took advantage of it. It ends up all the way over to third base. Well, what I like about that is you see so many kids these days, you know, they're going in hard, they're sliding head first, they're sliding in the bag. That, that, that pop-up slide is almost a lost art, and finding the baseball, uh, he popped up, great pop-up slide, found the baseball in center field, took off immediately and made it third easily. Yeah, there was a lot of good uh, baseball IQ on that play. You're exactly right. Good breaking pitch, stays inside. Because, number one, he, he reads the down angle and gets a jump. Right. I mean, not a straight steal. That's a that's a steal that he he identifies, right? And then the pop-up slide and turn in the right way to locate the baseball allowed him to get over to third base. So, yeah, just a lot of good uh, quality baseball IQ there from your leadoff man. Two balls, one strike to Henson. Just wait. It's just a matter of time for you to see one in the gap from this kid. He's been under things. Takes a good fastball right down the middle. Two and two. And that was a good pitch to hit there. Good pitch to hit, but good patient at bat. Not trying to do too much. Choked up now with two strikes. And Breaking ball. Hit softly at the second baseman. There's one away. <clears throat> yeah, kind of a defensive two-strike swing there. But move the baseball. Just didn't hit it to the right part of the field with the infield in. Hit it right at the second baseman. Nowhere to go for Peyton Adams at third. Now, infield in here. Uh, early in the game, just a little unusual. Here's Perry. Perry hitting 412 on the year. Missed a few games here recently. Hit hard and by the third baseman, and Dane Perry already paying dividends. Round first, looking at second. They're going to hold him there. And it'll be an RBI single for Dane Perry. Yeah, nice at bat there coming in, getting a good 
middle end fastball to pull down the third baseline there and drive home the Mustangs' first run. Immediate impact. That's what you like to see when you come come back after a few games off. Mustang catcher <coughs> Aiden Piercy will step in the box. Piercy 339 on the year, 20 hits and 59 at bats. Light crowd here at 6 o'clock. People work for a living or what? I think so. Or they had a senior moment like me. You just can't find the <laughs> darn ball field. the park. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's, never, it's never good when I get a call. Little bloop right side. We're testing out the second base tonight. He gets called off by the right fielder. And a little can of corn out there, and there's two away. Yeah, for as many times as I've been here, Joe, the fact that I completely had no idea <laughs> where I was or where I was going this evening, um, it kind of baffles me at the moment. Quite honestly, you know, that, a little frightening. that's supposed to happen to me, not you. <clears throat> I'm telling you, I don't know what happened. But I'm here. Of course, I'm, I'm bringing my, my memory bank with me over here. <laughs> Jennifer, if I have her with me, I can remember lots of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> My name, <laughs> my phone number. <laughs> Matt Lara, big first baseman hitting from the left side. Got Rolls over on one, another soft roller to the second baseman. At, uh, easy play there, a little 4-3 put out. We'll end the inning, but Mustangs do draw first blood. This is a uh, RBI single from Dane Perry. Scores Peyton Adams, and we will head to the bottom of the first. Mustangs up 1 nothing. You're watching Friendswood Baseball on the Big Daddy Media Network. Boom. We're off and running. Got a lead. <laughs> See, <laughs> <that>. Lockhart does. <clears throat> and pitched since that Alvin tournament. Do well in that Alvin tournament. Yeah. Well, he's got good bloodlines, so older brother still pitching in the minors, right? I think he's in the Tiger system now. He what? Lyle, I think, uh, is in the Tiger system now, his older brother. Yeah. 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 Uh, he was in the Dodgers for a while, and then I think he got traded into the Tigers Tiger system oh. last year or something. Really? I believe so. I could be mistaken, but I believe that's right. Did not know that. I think he was at the White Caps maybe a little for a little while, and then went to the um, to the Erie squad. Let's see. Um, maybe. Might be able to find that. Let's see. Lock. Heart. LB. Is it Daniel or Keith? Lyle. Lyle. L A. E -L. Is it really Lyle Lockhart? Yeah. Junior, I guess. I think his dad's Lyle as well. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Full name Lyle Joseph Lockhart. Drafting Dodgers. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, played at U of H for a while, then went to Arkansas. Drafted by the Dodgers, and I believe midseason last year was traded into the Detroit Tigers organization. We're looking, trying to f see where Lockhart's uh, brother's playing currently. Let's see. Three teams in the minors in 2023. We got baseballs bouncing all over the field here, Joe. And squirting out of the catcher's mitt, and they threw it back to the pitcher, and he dropped it, and baseball's flying across the diamond. <laughs> Some other bad news bears here right now. Uh, assigned to Detroit Tigers on the 27th, February 27th, 2024, so you heard correctly. I believe he's with the double A squad. Uh, I think Erie is where he's at. I, I could be wrong, but. So we got uh, two friends with kids in the Detroit organization Pacheco and Lockhart.
All right, number four, up to bat, Joey Duran. I think we're set now. Joey Duran will lead it off. Lefty shortstop will step in against Lockhart. Lockhart hits left or right, but he throws right-handed. First pitch in there for a called strike. Good start for Lock. <clears throat> We're in a familiar Lockhart number 13, although thrown from the right side. His older brother was a lefty, I believe. Mm, good pitch there. Didn't get the call. One one. Ooh, a little slider there, and it's one and two. Be Duran, Fuentes, and Young do up for Texas City. Two balls, two strikes. That was that 54-foot uh, version right there. Yeah. Spiked it a little bit. Kyle started some games last year for Friendswood. Been uh, used primarily out of the bullpen this season when he does pitch. Ball's hammered to right field. Foul. Yeah, got around that one. Definitely quick to that baseball. But just a long strike there. There is an apartment complex to the right of the scoreboard out in right field, and uh, there's a fence that backs up to it, and that ball ended up right up against that fence. Ooh. A little high cheese there, guy to chase, and it's out number one. The old high cheese. DJ, the center fielder. Texas City was uh, able to split with Angleton, which is quite an achievement with the two pitchers that Angleton has throwing at you. Um, they won one game in uh, extra innings, if you will. <laughs> so, who breaking ball beauty? Angleton starts the season 0 and 3 before they won a game. They uh, but all, three all three right extras. extra innings. So uh, tough way to go. <laughs> tough way to start. You're like as a pitcher, you're like. Man, can I get to brother get some help here? Score a run or two. Good breaking ball. Did he check? He's down there. Yep, strike two. Didn't even ask. Hmm. Oh, two. A uh, strike zone in that last game uh, versus Santa Fe was Generous. not the best. That's the first time we've really had an issue. Got him, man. man three great curve. Breaking good, balls. good morning, good afternoon, and good night, DJ Fuentes. This one's a backwards K, and there's two away. Brings up Peyton Young. But the thing with that Santa Fe umpire is he he was not making anybody happy. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't biased it or one-sided. I mean, it was good and bad, or beneficial, and I guess. Non-beneficial calls both ways. I don't know. Just uh, it was uh, generous. Lock, Lockhart sticking with the curveball. Don't don't change it if it's working right. First pitch strike to Young. The old ones fouled back this way. Yeah, pound in the zone here. 11 pitches in, only two balls, nine strikes. Lots of, I'm like you, See I got lots of, lots of memories here at this ballpark. Uh, well, I thought I did. <laughs> this is the location. <laughs> <laughs> you remember the games. <laughs> I do remember hitting a tank here in my uh, men's league days, older days. Older days. In my 30s, coming out here playing, hit one down the left field line. That was fun. That's 323 down down the left field line. I hit it about 323 and a half. <laughs> hit hard right at the first baseman. Laura makes the play. Good job, Laura. Unassisted and a 1-2-3 inning, something we didn't have in Santa Fe. <laughs> we'll take it. 
And the Mustangs out to a good start here after one. They take a 1-0 lead into the second. And we'll be back here watching Friendswood Mustang ba Baseball on the Big Daddy Media Network. Welcome back to Texas City. Joe Hollier and Cade Lyko. Bringing you some live action here on the Big Daddy Media Network. Drew Smith will lead it off for the Mustangs here in the top of the second. Smith batting 385 on the year, 20 hits and 52 at bats. Yeah, I did. Um, ooh, he called that a strike? Oh, he's asking. Okay, yeah, no swing. 1-0. <laughs> oh. Um... You know, Benny's been here six years. Um, six already? Yeah, Goodness. so in 2016, Man. the year before, uh, Mustangs were 7-11, and 11, finished 6th in district in, seven, in 16. In 17, Benny showed up. Um, they went 10-4 and four his first year and finished 2nd in district. No coincidence. And then 2018, 10-4 um, and four again. 2019 was the COVID year. And that, that was a bummer. That was a bummer. Um, it kind of, I don't know. You had Pacheco and Maxi starting to get into their prime. So them not playing a full season probably gives other kids a chance to maybe have a record or two <laughs> down the line. Otherwise, they would own just about everything. Yeah, when you think about the fact they lost a, basically a full season, I mean, we were just getting into – in fact, I was calling a home tournament game. We had we had hosted a tournament. I was calling a game when kind of the news dropped that hey, we're gonna we're gonna send everybody home, and that was it yeah. for the season. And it was like mid mid tournament, mid game, and they just said district has made a decision or whoever somebody has, and the, that was it. Shortstop Caden Wells grounds one fouled in the left field line after uh, Smith reached base. So one on, nobody out. Wells 327 on the year. So after the COVID year, that's when uh, things really started heating up. Mustangs in 2020 went 16-0 and in district. They did not lose a game. They won 30 games in a row. Of course, they won district going 16-0, but they were swept in the playoffs by the eventual state champion, Barbers Hill, in the uh, quarter uh, – finals yeah that regional, was a that was a tough finals. one yeah because they were they were cruising along didn't didn't get their first loss until the college station series and uh ended up having to go to a neutral site in that one and win that series two to one and then turn around and play barbers hill and just at u of h and the, the whole series just got off to a weird start with the rain outs and the delays and i don't know it just i mean both teams got to play through it and 
credit to Barbers Hill. They did, but and they had a great team too. Don't get me wrong. They also their shortstop was drafted in the first round uh, in the Rangers organization, I believe. Yeah, and he, uh, Collie, and he, Collie, he's yeah. still doing extremely well too. Uh, and uh, I think the Rangers may have gotten a steal there in uh, Collie, <clears throat> but that that sweep by Barbers Hill. I know the kids <laughs> took it hard, right? <laughs> but as a broadcaster, even I, <clears throat> it was it was months before I started getting over that. It was just a stinging loss. That was such a good team, and uh, you know they were they were built for a state championship that year, and unfortunately, you know it just didn't happen. So then you roll into 2021, and Pacheco's gone, right? Um, your makeup changes a little bit, and you're thinking, okay, this team's good, but you know, are, are they that good? The wrong side of the bag. He's going to get in there. Good hustle there by Smith. Stolen base. And um, like you said, it was Goolsby when he hit that bomb here. Kind of turned things around. And um, they got on a roll and got hot. And all of a sudden, you know, we're just – Everything clicked. Yeah, you had, it, you had Reed South at short, Goolsby at second that year, right? Goolsby eventually moving over to short. But, um, yeah, I mean, you talk about losing a guy like Check and having to fill those, you know, that offensive void and defensive for that matter. I mean, kid was a stellar shortstop. So they, uh, they proved what they were made of. They did, and that, that was, that was um, such a great comeback for those kids and – uh, a lot of those kids have gone on to play college ball um, that, were, that were on that team. Uh, a lot of them at, even at D1 level. Um, but, man, just a special year. And so, like I said, we've been sp <laughs> pretty spoiled the last, you know, several years. And so to lose two, suddenly, you know, it just stings a little bit more, right? And when it gets by, and Smith will s scoot down to third base. So 3-2 count here for Vegas uh, with a runner at third and only one out. And infield will come in again. Lozano in a little bit of trouble here. If you're like Cade, it's Lozano, not Lazardo. Oh, thank goodness. I mean, that guy, that guy for Laporte was... Lights out, wasn't he? Oh, pretty good breaking ball. May have been up for ball four, but probably too close to take. So good job there by Vet Lane. Yeah, certainly too good, to, too close to take. You know, foul it off, get one you can handle, and try to drive. Get something in the outfield grass or if nothing else, just a deep fly. Get this run home. Foul this one straight back. QA tonight is uh, Leland Freeman. Thank you, Leland. Thank you, Leland. We had a little trouble. That's why I get here early and set up. We <laughs> had a little trouble getting on the air early on, but uh, you'd never know it. We got, got a good they, team behind the scenes. A good team behind the scenes. Hit hard down the third base line. Oh, just foul. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Benny wanting to will it fair, but mm. not to be. Good battle here by Vegas. Win it, kid. This next pitch will be the ninth pitch of the at-bat. Feel free to uh, text Kate or I or message us on Facebook. We'll give you a shout out. If I can remember to look at my phone. <laughs> Payoff pitch again to Lane. Just gets a piece of it. I do want to give a shout out to uh, Dr. Dinky with Select Spine and Sports. I pulled my back out yesterday overdoing it once again and I uh, was kind of dreading coming here and sitting for three hours at a baseball game. So I called him yesterday afternoon. Yeah, good at bat. That a boy. Way to win it. Good job by Vegas there working the walk. First and third, one out. Got the speedster Encarnacion coming up. So I called uh, yesterday afternoon trying to get in and got a got a 30-minute massage and an adjustment from Dr. Dinky, and I'm, I'm good to go, man. I'm always amazed at how much your bones crack when those guys start <laughs> twisting on you. <laughs> It's frightening. It sounds like a zipper coming apart. 
So, well, if you're my age, it sounds like a dinosaur falling from the top of the museum. <laughs> Good bunt, little safety squeeze. And the bases are going to be loaded. It'll be an infield single as the catcher. Ball wasn't bunted far enough up the line to get the run home. It was a safety squeeze. I think the argument is going to be Encarnacion carrying the bat with him after the bunt and making contact with the catcher, it looked like, as the catcher was coming out to field the ball. So that's going to be the discussion now between the umpires. Texas City coach coming out and immediately yeah. arguing that point, but no call. Uh, Encarnacion's got a right to the, bat, uh, the baseline, too. He was... So it'll be an infield single for Blake. Bases are loaded now for top of the order. Here's Adams. This is where Adams can strike and strike quick. He's built for these situations. He always seems to come up with guys in scoring position, and when he does, he generally comes through. Texas City in tight on the corners, back at double play depth in the middle infield. Adams again hitting 351 on the year. Takes ball one. Good eye there. Oh, now heading the count, sit here and kind of pick out what he wants. Gonna put a good swing on one, try and barrel something up. There it this is. This ball's hammered to right oh field. Stay fair. It's cooking. Nope. Foul. And not caught. Kind of wow. maybe a smart play there by the right fielder. I think he may have had a shot at catching that he inside to let it drop. Surprisingly did. I didn't realize there was that much foul ground over there, but – he ran a long way for that ball and just outside of the reach of him running that down. So Peyton gets another shot. But, yeah, you're right. If he catches that ball, it's a tag and score easy. Well, as luck would have it, it's a north wind today. Normally the wind's blowing out here, but but the uh, cold front that blew through. Ooh, good breaking ball. So now he's got a. Shorten up and do something here. One out, bases loaded. Must This has been the Mustangs' big issue is not coming through with runners in scoring position. But this is the guy you want up. Takes good, good take, take right on the outside, and it's two and two. Good job of not pressing there, not trying to do too much. Whew. Great pitch from Lozano. Yeah, Alec excellent. Tried location. to paint that corner. Good call by home plate. It was outside, but not by a lot. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Mm. Got it. Yeah. Great Came back pitch. inside, froze him. Great pitch. And Set him up with that ball off the plate. And, you know. Had him looking away. Yeah. Well, in, in Friendswood, notoriously, it, they're tough with two strikes, right? They take that zone away. They crowd the plate. They get in there. They have good plate coverage. They're tough. They're gritty. They foul stuff off. And uh, he threw that ball out off the plate and then came right back in with a good, hard fastball on the inside black to – Kind of sit him down there. Man, this would be a good time for Henson to break out. He's still hitless since he returned to the lineup. Averages dropped from the 500s down to where is he now? Well, he was at 391 to start the game, over one this game, so that'll be a 9 for 24 clip. So doing the math in my head is not working because my brain is on <laughs> – a sabbatical or something. Frank's right still now. out on really 29th sure. Street so, and Lowry yeah, Park. Still trying to, my brain is still trying to find the field, y'all. So uh, nine over 24, 375 now. Curveball for a strike. Good pitch there for strike one. Another breaking ball. Mm. Same place, same result, and it's 0 2. It's on over. Fighting back here after loading the bases. I mean, really is. Got to give him credit. Maintain his composure and throwing strikes. And these, I mean, these are the guys you want up. This is your one and two hitters. And he chases a high fastball. Lozano gets out of it. Man, bases loaded, top of the order, and Mustangs unable to punch a run home. Tough, tough break. A three-pitch strikeout to Henson is not very often does that happen. So... Just, you know, struggling a little bit sometimes when you're coming off injury, trying to get back in it. You know, your timing's a little off. You're just just struggling a little bit to find it. And when things aren't going your way, it just seems to snowball sometimes. But he'll snap out of it eventually. He's too good of a ball player. And it's not just him. It's this entire team. Yeah. They've got to start stringing some hits together. And we're yeah. Hopefully, uh, you know, it happened back in uh, 
2020. Let's hope it. Let's hope it happens. The magic happens here again. It'd be a good place to break out of it. You're watching Friendswood Mustang Baseball on the Big Daddy Media Network. Four, your catcher, number 12, Tyler Ramos. Catcher Tyler Ramos will lead it off for the Stingerees. Lockhart had a pretty good uh, rest there in the dugout um, as the Mustangs really made um, Lozano work. Ooh, curveball. This one's called a ball. Yeah, Lozano's at uh, 39 pitches through two. He was only 12 after one, so a good clip there in the second uh, inning. Labored a little bit, but worked his way out of it to maintain the 1-0 deficit. And now his stingerees are at the plate. Um, hoping the long sit for Lockhart didn't break his momentum, but he's behind here 2-0. Ooh. Looked outside. Good job by uh, Piercy framing that. Yeah, good glove work there by Aiden Piercy, helping his pitcher out, get him back in the zone here. Two balls, one strike to the catcher. Sitting on that curveball, but still can't, still missed it. And it's two and two. Yeah, he was dialed in on yeah. that, wasn't he? His timing was perfect. He yep. just swung right over top of it. Long look in by Lockhart. Ask for time. Yeah, you got me thinking. Um, I need to go find out where um, Lyle ended up on the uh, in the Detroit system. Where these two? You thought thought it was Double A? I think so. Um, wow, good, great comeback there by Kyle. I get the I get the the levels mixed up sometimes. Which team's which? But I want to say he was. I know Pacheco's so not one, there yet. but Yeah, he's at the Whitecaps. And I, I think Locke, when he was traded, maybe had one appearance with the Whitecaps and then moved to, moved to Erie. I think it's Erie. I, I'm not 100%. Be kind of neat if those guys ended up uh, playing together for a little bit. Fastball. Misses outside. Maybe somebody in the, in the, in the uh, listening world can. Clear. Look that up. Clear that up for us. Uh, Clyde Votaw, the third baseman, will step in with one out and nobody on here in the bottom of the second. Smoked into left field. So Texas City has their first base runner. Mr. Gould's be checking in with us saying, great job, fellas. The dynamic duo at it again. Am I Robin or are you Robin? Who's Batman? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> since I know, since I know where the Bat Cave is, <laughs> he's Batman. <laughs> okay. 
I Holy guess ball I, fields. I, guess, I guess I'll be Batman tonight since I know where the Bat Cave is. <laughs> oh goodness. Yeah, good pitching there by Lockhart. It's 0 one. Yeah, where is Goolsby? He always calls us from either another state or another country. Dog. Yeah, we're skiing watching you guys. <laughs> Actually, you were too. I was. <laughs> yeah. I was. I was. I was low man over here, getting all the uh, pictures, the snow pictures. Yeah, and unfortunately, Joe, I hate to break it to you, but I'm going to be gone Thursday. So. Oh. At least, well, not unfortunately. I mean, I'm going to be gone Thursday, but we're traveling for to Atlanta for a big volleyball tournament for Ellie. Oh, you're taking Ellie to say, can, can Ellie fill in for you? Yeah. No, she's she's the star of the show this weekend. So gotcha. She's been killing it on the volleyball court. Another breaking off speed pitch, unable to hold up. One ball, two strikes. The Hudden all. No, excuse me, it's Pete Hip. Hips the DH tonight. <laughs> Uh, he's gone. Man, Kyle, racking up the strikeouts tonight. Number four for Lockhart. Good job, Lock. In two innings. Throwing a lot of strikes. First pitch strikes to all but one batter and now only the DH, uh, six balls. Nathan so, Hudnall will step in. Goolsby uh, chimed back with uh, on the question of who's Batman. <laughs> uh, whichever looks better in the tights. <laughs> Um, well, they both wore tights, though. So, I'm about to say, <laughs> uh, I, I prefer the cape. <laughs> they both had capes. Did they? Did yeah, have a cape too. Yeah, he had a red Man. cape. Oh, now, right. you, know, you should have said I prefer the black cape. <laughs> well, then, yeah, okay. <laughs> red and green <laughs> and yellow, not a good look. You never hear anybody wanting to be Robin. <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> I mean, you hear people say, I'm Batman, but you never say, I'm Robin. <laughs> Popped up and out of play. Thanks for getting off, getting us off track, Goolsby. Yeah, thanks, Goolsby. Hey, look. Look at my daughter. See? She texting? Always coming through. Oh, I Lyle know. Lockhart, number six, Erie Seawolves, double-A affiliate for Detroit Tigers. Like, like I said, can she fill in right. while you're gone Thursday? Tell me what. The next Julia Morales right there. Yeah. She's always coming through. Had a girl. Thanks, Ellie. Thank you, Ellie. Good job. Big lead. He's going. There yep. he goes. Picked a good one to go on. Yeah, no he chance. did. Yeah, no chance of getting him. Of course, you could have picked him off because he was about to fall yeah, over. Yeah. He was uh, so obviously going on that pitch. But And Kyle tapped his chest to Aiden and said, that's on me. Yep. Three balls, two strikes. Doesn't have to be perfect here. He's got an open base. Throw your pitch, Kyle. Mmm. <clears throat> Wow. Really close. Got that call earlier. Didn't get it there. Batting next number 11, Brandon Hernandez. So two out, two on for Texas City. Piercy's going to trot out. And that was pitch number 30 for Lockhart on the day. So next pitch will be 31 to start this at bat. Brings up the right fielder, Brandon Hernandez. Man, light, light crowd. Of course, you know when you're fighting for third and fourth place, <laughs> you don't. Nobody loves you quite as much when you're at the top of the heap. It's been a while since the Mustangs have been there. Pitches up. <clears throat> well, just needs a reset here. Got two outs, first and second. He needs to go back to that breaking ball. He's had such good success with. Yeah, started the last three batters off with the ball after starting everyone else off to start the game with strikes. So 
we go. Put it out of play. Great baseball weather, other than a little bit breezy. But no, this is it is a clear blue sky, no humidity. Windows are open. Windows are open. Got phenomenal headsets on, Joe. I mean, <laughs> Kate's got a brand new headset. Thank it's you, nice. Allison Piercy and Callie Rhodes. And the uh, Friendswood Baseball Booster Club is we've kind of been piecemealing it here together for a few games, but. Uh, both my hands are free. I can, you can mark ride, the pitch yeah. counts and, and look at stat sheets, and I don't have to hold the mic up in front of my face and tap the mic on the other, <laughs> the button on the other mic for the calls. You know, hold your, hold your, nice. Hold your finger out right to get good reception. Oh man, it's all right. Good location there. Good miss. Two balls, two strikes. Two outs, two on. Be pitch number 35 for Lot. Curveball popped up in the air. Lots of room. Third base calling for it. Ooh. And Making Henson play. makes the catch. So a little bit of traffic. Nobody hurt. And for the pop out to uh, third. We will head to the third. Do up for your Mustangs. It'll be Perry, Piercy, and Lara. You're watching Friendswood Mustang Baseball on the Big Daddy Media Network. Welcome back, Joe Hoyer and Cade Lyko, as we are set to bring you inning number three between Friendswood and Texas City. Dane Perry will lead it off. Perry singled home Peyton in the first inning for an RBI single. Uh, one pitch, one swing for Perry. Takes a strike here. Smart pitch by Lozano there to start him with the off speed. And better take by Perry not to press and Go after that pitch. It's a good take. Wind has died down a little bit. Reaches for that one. Should fall out of play. Yep, gets it gets out. O2. Ellie and I went to the uh, Astros and Space Cowboys game last night. That minute made. That was fun. Saw that. Was kind of a slow game, but ultimately was it's a neat still fun park. to be there. Yeah, it's a great park. Ooh, man. Caught Dane looking at a fastball in the inside corner. Strikeout number three. Actually, yeah, he had straight. two strikeouts last inning, and now he starts this one off with the strikeout I looking. Mean, Second strikeout looking. 
That's two strikeouts and six pitches. Three straight to Henson and three mm. straight to Perry. That's yep. That's impressive. Those are good hitters. Good hitters. Sure. One, two, and three. Here's Piercy. Locking down. That one stays in. Yeah, yeah. Didn't, didn't know we were going to see a pit, pitcher's duel here tonight. Wasn't expecting that. Offense is... Got to find a way to just get something something going here. They say hitting's contagious, but up to this point hasn't been. <clears throat> Need to find somebody to be that spark here and kind of set things in motion. Maybe that'll be Mr. Piercy. Hit it pretty good towards left center field. Wind's going to push it back in a little bit, and there's two away. Not the strikeout, but still just a three-pitch at bat. So last three batters have all just seen three pitches. <clears throat> Here's Lara. Lara grounded out to second his first time up. So Lara hitting 245 on the season. That's come down just a, a touch after his first at bat. Check swing. Nope. Strike one. Um, we'll say Laura hit a ball hard in that Santa Fe game with bases loaded. Just unfortunately hit it right at the first baseman. Right. Uh, you know, if he gets he's had some good swings. He's had some good ABs and really he's moved the baseball well. But sometimes that's the way baseball goes. You just don't find the gaps. Now he did have the the game winning hit in that pitcher's duel against Angleton, right? The nine. Correct. Game. Yeah, he's hadn't hurt himself at the plate. Ahead in the count here. Oh, wow. Good take there. Um, strike zone seemed a little expanded. It's two and two. Yeah. A two one count. You're not going to go after that one. It was a good three, four inches off the plate, but pitcher got the call, so now he's got a battle. Full count. As for time, yeah, back in 2010, uh, Texas City center fielder Tyler Igus hit a foul ball that dented my truck. So yeah, I remember, I remember stuff like that from being here. And I've got to worry about you just finding the field. Rolls over again. This one to first base, and a quick inning. Yeah, Lozano needed that quick inning for the Texas City squad after that long labor in second inning. Gets through that one with only uh, 12 pitches. So, Tech City due up for them will be 9-1-2. It'll be Grant the second, then Duran, then Fuentes for Texas City. Mustangs holding a 1-0 lead as we head to the bottom of the third. You're watching Friendswood Baseball on the Big Daddy Media Network.
Betting night. We see number one, Joe Grant, the second. Here's Joe Grant, the second. Also the second baseman for Texas City. So first at bat for Grant in this game as uh, Lockhart has done extremely well through the first two. Misses high and away. Nobody in the bullpen for Friendswood. Two balls and no strikes. Maybe a little. It's been a while since Locke has pitched. He threw in the uh, Alvin tournament. Threw um, extremely well in that tournament. Uh, out of, out of the bullpen, and he's falling behind here, three and zero. Oh. Yeah, it might be good for Pearson to maybe make a visit here soon. Just settle him down. Say, hey man, a lot of baseball left. Let's find a zone. Let's let your defense work behind you. And that was not. I say it wasn't a long half inning, right? It's, it's, that's in there for a called strike. See if he can come back and get him. Just got to go right at him. Nine hole hitter. You just got to send of hole, it. A lot of room up the middle. There you strike go. Strike two. Good job. Wells is shaded toward the third. Hit hard, Good but job. right at Dawson. And there's one away. Man. Kid's got a gun. You kind of like, like him over it. They like him wherever he ends up. It's a good glove. Um, with, the, with the knee, though, you don't have to move as much if you were playing second. So it makes sense to put him over there. But, uh, you know, it's also kind of fun to show off the cannon, right? Yeah. I mean, that's <laughs> you know who he looks like to me right now? An old Astro player, also played for the Padres. Strong arm, third baseman. Cam Caminetti? Caminetti. That's who he <laughs> reminds me of right now. Just the way he I walks, can, his, yeah, his yeah, mannerisms. I, I, I mean, can see that. Yeah. He's got but Caminetti the, written the all over it. Curls man. coming out the back of the cap. I'm telling yeah. you. That's it. Yeah, he's added about 15 pounds from uh, his freshman year. Looking more and more like a ball player. One ball, one strike to Duran. Boy, that was a player there, wasn't it, Cam and Eddie? The things he did from third base, the hot corner there, just, man, that arm was something else. Softly hit. Smith throwing across his body. Great play there by Drew Smith. A couple of ground outs to start this third inning, and there's two away. Yeah, um, I was fortunate to be in uh, the Houston media at that time. So the I got to kind of hang out with those guys quite a bit. And uh, Caminetti and Biggio and Bagwell, um, you know, just quality guys. And that was a that was a fun time in my life getting to go to games and get <laughs> get paid for it. <laughs> Oof, good heat there by Lockhart. Dial that one up. A notch. Yeah, kind of reared back, found an extra gear on that one, huh? Breaking ball. Pierce was trying to frame it. It was up to Fuentes, but uh, unable to bring it down. It's one and one. Good pitch there. Stays down, though, and it's two and one. Man, had a good break on it. Just missed the spot. Fuentes having a decent yeah, bat. He only saw three pitches at first at bat. and All strikes and sat down quick. This time showing a little patience and laying off tough pitches. Two one. Misses away, and it's three and one. 
Yeah, Cammy, of course, got caught up in that steroid era. But, man, he, he had a cannon, didn't he? From his, I mean, I was watching, you know, there's that video, him throwing from the seat of his pants right. in foul territory, <laughs> back probably 15 foot behind the bag and foul territory from the seat of his pants and just throwing an absolute seed. <laughs> <laughs> bullseye to first base. Even the first baseman was like, just like stunned. What you know? just happened? Payoff pitch from Lockhart. Ah, just up. A two-out walk to Fuentes will bring up Peyton Young. Keeps the inning alive Ready for the Stingerees. Peyton Young. Young struck out looking his first at bat. That was pitch number 50 for Locke on the on the day. So not quite through three. A little high on the pitch count. Let, let the uh, spouse in, will you? One ball, no strikes. Thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer coming through with the assist on the, on the charging cable and the <laughs> maybe. It's not USB. I need the USB part. That's all right. You have a USB on yours? Yeah. So a couple throw. Throws over to check the runner here. Definitely going. He's he's wiggling again. He's I just got a piece of it. It's a good job by Locke there to change his cadence, change his tempo a little bit, and keep that guy at first base. You could tell he was ready to go. Where'd you get that? Trying to time up Locke, but <clears throat> Locke being a smart pitcher there, just changed up his timing just enough to keep him cemented over there at first base. Ooh, no call there. Let's see if I can get a so two one count now. Uh, come on. Two one, two outs, runner first. Lock sitting on fifty four pitches upon this delivery here. Good off speed for a strike there. Evens it up at two two. Two and two to to two poo. With two outs. That was an old comedy skit there, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Who's on first? No, not that good. <laughs> this was some random comedy thing I heard a while back, and it was something about Hawaiian baseball and the Polynesian names. Two, two, you know, like Tua Tag Tungalavoa, or however you say it, all that kind of stuff. But this guy was talking about the guy's last name was Tutupu, and he had a two ball, two strike count with two outs and in. It was two and two to Tutupu, two outs. <laughs> uh, well, funny, I don't know. random things that go to my brain. Um, coaching from Conroe just texted in. Uh oh. Said, uh, how about a pitch out? Well, it was kind of a pitch out, it was a ball. It was a ball. Uh, didn't work. Full count. Popped up. And probably going to get out of play. Oh, dear. It's right. Oh! oh. Mr. Adams, where you at? Peyton Adams' dad <laughs> had a chance to be a hero right there and save all the ladies in the stands. And well, he kind of did. I mean, he, he was just sitting there waiting for it like a can of corn <laughs> off the top shelf there and just uh, <laughs> dropped it. Yeah, he's getting a lot of looks from the ladies right now. Like, are you going to protect us or not? Well, we knew Peyton got all his uh, <laughs> ability from, from his mom. From the mom. But still, I mean, <laughs> I expected Mr. Adams to come through there with a the, with the snag. But Another long look in by Lockhart. Oh, Great another pitch. breaking ball. Pulled Great pitch. On sure one. did. Okay. That was number 57, so 
High on the pitch count there, surpassed Lozano actually through three, but we still maintain the 1-0 lead. Strike, strike out to end the inning. We will head to the top of the fourth. It'll be Drew Smith, Caden Wells, and then Lane Vegas do up for your Mustangs. You're watching Friendswood Mustang Baseball on the Big Daddy Media Network. Al Drew Smith will lead it off for your Mustangs here in the top of the fourth. So Smith, 385 on the season, having a stellar year. One of the leaders in hits for this ball club. 20 hits on the year so far. And so... All right on pace for a hit a game. Overall record 16 3 and 1. That's 20. So. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's hit a game. Not bad. Hit a game. you in the Hall of Fame. <clears throat> that pitch in there for a call strike. Oh, my goodness. Nope. Just didn't like 2 and 0. Whoo, man. Well, it was down the middle. Must have been up in the umpire's eyes. But uh, good hitters count here for Smith. He takes the ball outside, but it's, that one's called a strike. <laughs> Well, we are about 637 feet away from home plate where we're sitting, so kind of hard to see, but <clears throat> look good. Yeah, it may have been a makeup call there. That one's down, three and one. Zano's pitched well, gave up a run in the first, and then has settled down since. Got out of a bases loaded jam in the second. Way inside, and Mustangs for the third inning. Gets their leadoff guy on. Now it's time to make it pay off here. So Caden Wills coming up, two, 327 on the year. Not going. 16 hits and 49 at bats. Not counting today, prior to today's game. Wells had a huge hit against Angleton. And that was, seems like, oh, there goes the runner. A little hit and run oh, and through the hole. It's going to be a tough There's nobody there. Nice job. Good execution. Good execution. Good call by the coaches. Make something happen. I like it. So that will be an infield hit for Wells. Protecting that runner. And it will bring Lane Vegas up, who walked his first at bat. Yeah, Vegas, 184 on the season, but... Don't let the numbers fool you. Good ball player, and, and he's had some some key at bats. Might be a bunt here. Yep. Squared around really late. Third baseman stayed home on that play. So uh, Benny can see the, what the defense did and see what adjustments they want to make. 0-1 to Vegas. You got to figure that's still on. Got to figure it, but you got to put that ball down the third baseline. Yep. You got first base crashing. You get that ball on the third baseline with him staying home, the base is going to be loaded. 
Not really holding him on at second base there. Extend that lead just a little bit. Come throw back behind the runner. It's a pretty close smart. play. Very smart. Tried to catch him sleeping. I think uh, Smith saw just what, what I was saying, that nobody holding him close and got a bigger lead. And the secondary was good, but it wasn't too quick to get back. And the shortstop snuck in behind him there and almost had him picked off. Oh, they call that a strike? Yes, sir. Oh, 0 2 now to Vegas. And he'll go down. He can't go anywhere. So, tough break there for the Mustangs. Unable to get to another bunt down. That's been one of their bugaboos. Yeah, that was aided by an unfortunate second strike call, but nonetheless had the first one to lay down and execute and couldn't get it done. So that'll bring up Encarnacion, hitting 308 on the year. Limited ABs being a pitcher. Now, he but, did uh, bunt for a single his first time up. Now, Yeah, so that average has come up now, 5 for 14. Takes a curveball for a strike. Grounded to a short. They can't turn two on this. He's too fast. They get the runner at second, though. Yeah, still a big out for the Stingery team there. <clears throat> Strikeout followed by a weak ground ball, moving it just to third and made sure one at two. So now they got runners on the corners with two outs. First and third for top of the lineup again. So here's... Adams with another chance. Came up with bases loaded and struck out looking, and now he's got another runner in scoring position. See if and that's huge. You don't see <coughs> Adams strike out very often. So, See if the Mustangs put Blake in motion. Breaking ball to Adams for strike one. Oh. Yeah, I kind of thought uh, Incarnacion would be running yeah, there myself. Not sure what we're waiting on. Early in the count with the leadoff guy up, kind of expecting off speed first pitch to him. Very reminiscent of the uh, state playoffs. There he goes. So, uncontested there. And Adams with a hitter's count now with runners at second and third. Yeah, a little, little strange. Hey, the scoreboard says one out, but there's two outs, and, and yep. they didn't hold him. He didn't have much of a lead, actually. We weren't really holding him, and nobody covered the bag. I'm just kind of. Soft roller right good. side. Going to gonna have to hurry. It's going to be close. They're going to get him. Wow. Goodness. Good Close at first base. Adams, though, unable to poke one through. And the Mustangs leave two more. That'll do it for Friendswood through four. Man, oh, man. It's not often you get the leadoff man on base every inning and can't get him in. Aside from the first, it's been, it's been a tough go for the offense, so. The good thing is the pitching's been good and defense is holding up, so got to find a way to keep it going. Lockhart back for his fourth inning of work, and uh, we'll keep it there. The, uh, one nothing Friendswood over Texas City. You are watching the Friendswood Mustang Baseball. Friendswood Mustang Baseball on the Big Daddy Media Network.
Welcome back to Texas City, everybody. I'm Joe Hollier along with Cade Lyko. Y'all missed it, folks. Uh, during the during the break there, they were playing Joe's song, Shania Twain's. Man, I feel like a woman. He was really jamming up here. How can I be great. a woman and be Batman? That would make me Batgirl. <laughs> it's 2024. It could happen. It could right? happen. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Uh, that one over here got my charger working. Ground ball, shortstop, Caden up with it. Low throw, but Lark comes up with it, one away. Good job, Laura. Nice stretch, picking that ball in the dirt. Good quick out for Lock there. One pitch, one out. I'd like to see that. Bring up the third baseman, Clyde Votal. Clyde singled and was stranded at second base. Back in the second inning. Good hard hit to the left field. Probably the best hit ball in this game so far other than the foul ball that Adams hit foul. Right. One out, nobody on. There's that breaking ball. Good pitch. Yeah, Mustangs trying to find their rhythm offensively after uh, – Man, whoo, be a long game for Tech City if Lockhart keeps throwing that pitch. Well, he can throw just about anything he wants here after two good curves, head 0-2. Batter's going to be guessing it to what's coming now, so good hard. Wow, nice pitch. slider yeah. away. Good hard slider down and away, good pitch. Two down, two quick outs here in the fourth. Number five, P. Hill. Sixth strikeout for Lockhart. Uh, Joe, if, uh, I've uh, identified a new problem. Uh oh. <laughs> well, in my spectacular geezerness here lately. Uh, Laura calling for it right side. Did he come up with it? There's a oh. Lot of, there's a lot of clapping over Yo, there. Man, right? Nice play. <laughs> Working with the fence there in the way in front of the dugout, finding the fence and finding a way to make that grab. Good play. A that quick hard. one, two, three inning. The Mustangs back. And it'll be Henson, Perry, and Piercy due up for the Mustangs. So go ahead and finish your thought. So, uh, you know, getting older, not getting any easier. Um, so now i got this beautiful new headset, but um, these – my go go gadget, you know, X ray readers here that I have on and pressing on my earlobes. I got these giant ears underneath these big headphones and pressing up again. <laughs> I think we're gonna have calluses on my ears after, after this game. After a well, maybe after this game, but <laughs> after the season for sure. I'm gonna have to get my different uh, glasses out, the ones that pinch on my nose. Well, my response to that is number one. Do you know who you're talking to? You, you can't. You can't I be do. talking <laughs> age to a guy that's. <laughs> Yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm starting to feel dozen it. <laughs> digits your senior, you know. Yeah, I, I, uh, I'm not kidding. I, I unload. Well, you know, the, I blame you a little bit because you're always talking about how you want to come out and help me at, at the ranch and put up stuff and do cowboy stuff. And All you gotta do is call me, man. There I am unloading, loading feed yesterday, and I'm. Uh, have to take it out of the truck and put it into the buggy and take the buggy to the barn and, bar and, and the buggy to the barn. And so then I got gas and I had the mistake of having a big truck. So <laughs> instead of lowering the tailgate, make it easy, I reach over the side yep. and lift three cans out that way. And then so I wake up the next morning, and I, I'm like, I feel like I'd worked out. You know, I was sore. Like You look like you worked out. <laughs> I was I mean, like sore, kind of sore. Swole up in yeah, here today. Well, not no. <laughs> And as the day went on, it just got worse. And so, uh, like I said, yesterday afternoon, I put in a call. I put in a call to, to uh, Dr. Dinky and said, you got to get me in. And uh, I'm much better. I'm, I am. I'm so much better today. But uh, – just mag magic hands, his magic fingers. Pitch low to Dawson. So limited action. Dawson's up now. 
trying to find a way to get something going offensively. There's a hard hit ball to third. Off the third baseman, and they're still going to throw him out. And, again, you got a guy that's running on a weak leg. If, if he's healthy, that's an infield hit. Yeah, and when it just – when it's going tough sometimes in this sport, it just you can't seem to – it just seems like nothing goes your way, and that's a good hard hit ball there. Um, it's just right at third baseman and just cranked off of him, and the ball bounced 20 foot in front of the third baseman. But like you said, just hobbling down first, didn't have enough in the, in the gas tank to get him there, I guess. Line towards right field, tough play for the right field. The sun is ice. Wow, not, that's a great catch. To rob Perry of a hit because uh, that sun is right in his eyes. So, after a five pitch inning by Lockhart to get out, uh, we've seen three pitches in this inning and already two outs. Well, you know, a quick game would mean my. Dinner options will multi multiply. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's the silver lining we're looking for. Right. One run in this game. And it was an RBI single from Dane Perry, who hit that ball good, squared it up, but uh, got a little too much of it. Piercy up there hacking. That was pitch number 70 from Lozano. But again, only the fourth pitch of the inning. You know what I failed to talk about was last season when we went 26-6-2. 10 and 1 in district. Mm -hmm. One district again. And then that uh, word we don't like to mention. BH, hmm. Barbers Hill, <laughs> swept us again. Hmm. So we're 0 and 4 against Barbers Hill in that the last a bit. two playoff games. It does, man. It really does. They got a good program over there, too, but yeah, it doesn't. Uh... They're well coached. They have a, a lot of um, other coaches that do a lot of scouting. Good. Oh, there <laughs> My we go. goodness. Look at Piercy. He's uh, digging for second. They're going to hold him up. Yeah, that's a wise choice, but man, uh, the weight room paid off there as he pounded that one into the dirt and it literally <laughs> bounced over the third baseman's head, and not even by a little bit, man. Yeah, that was I mean, way it, out there. It bounced in the dirt in front of home, and the second bounce was in the outfield grass. Yes. That's hard to do. Yes, that's hard to On do. On purpose. That's hard to that's do. With a, the fungo. That's a Kim and Eddie thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was something right there. You don't see that very often. <clears throat> Brings up Matt Lar. Lar 0 for 2. Couple of ground out, infield ground outs. Looks like we got a courtesy runner over there for Piercy at first. I think that's Knowles. Is that Knowles? He's usually, eight. he's usually the first guy out. Yep. Yep. So Blake Knowles running at first as Lara takes a ball on the first pitch. Chilly night here. Sun's going down. It's getting ready to be a lot chillier. We'll miss these days here pretty soon. Yeah. No doubt. This weather is absolutely perfect. Way up high. Back pick. Not in time. So again, just pointing out the one of the new things we have this year is the scoreboard is superimposed over the video, so uh, you don't have to worry about me missing the... Uh, Scoring update. Ellie yeah, doesn't have to call in from afar and remind you to change it. Oh, good at bat there by Law. And Mustangs again with runners at first and second. But yeah. two out here. Four pitch walk there, and that's uh, six balls on that seven pitches. So starting to show a little fatigue is Lozano. I expect we'll see the coach. Well, yep, there you go. Oh, there he is. Coaching coming out to have a little chat here. Smith walks to the plate. What's Smith numbers on the night, Joe? Smith is um, reached base twice, a couple of walks, um, but uh, been left on base both times. So still hitting 385, 20 out of 52 official at bats. 20 hits out of 52 at bats, I should say. 
So on base percentage is good. Uh, yeah. On base, 467 entering the game. That's gone up. That's now. gone up. OPS was at 890. That's gone up. I saw uh, Dylan Maxey had an RBI double today against uh, Stephen F. Austin. Races averaged a 408. Is that all? 408 in D1 Big 12 baseball? I guess that's good. That's all right. I mean, if you like that sort of thing. If you're counting. Oh, one to Smith. Well, nice back pan. <laughs> Woo! That was a tough play. Yeah, good glove pick by yeah. the catcher there. That's, that's not easy. Ramos took a swipe at it and came up with it clean. Laura with a big lead at first. And pitches down. That was pitch number 80 from Lozano on the evening. How many does Locke have? Locke is sitting on 62 right now. Okay. <clears throat> so that five-pitch inning last inning really helped him out. Slow grounder, easy play for the third baseman. The low throw, though. We'll go f wow. Oh, wow. First baseman saved him. Great scoop over there at first. Wow. Yeah, Man, I thought they were going to give us time. one there for a second. Kind of short arm that throw, but – yeah, Pete, Great stretch. Pete Hip with a nice uh, scoop at first, and Mustangs leave a couple of more. So the 5-3 uh, put out will end the Mustang threat. <laughs> Lockhart will Come back pitch out. Do it again. and try and keep this game where it is. Uh, one nothing lead for Friendswood. You're watching Friendswood Mustang Baseball on the Big Daddy Media Network. And here we go, bottom of five. Mustang still holding that one nothing lead. So, okay, we've tried it a couple of different ways. We've had runners on early with a few outs, and we've had runners on late with a couple of outs. And no I think we should try having one runner touch all four bases it's, we've in the same inning. We've touched all but that fourth base. <laughs> Be like I mean, sometimes. You know, in your box score, the very first box is colored in, and then that's it. That's, that's a unique uh, Yeah, it's a very <laughs> unique scorecard. The very first box is colored in, and then nothing. <clears throat> well. So a lock at 60-something pitches. This uh, To start the inning will be pitch number 63. 63. He'll face the DH, Nathan Hudnall, who walked. Hudnall's one of the guys that was sitting on the, that curve ball. And that one misses outside for ball one. <clears throat> yeah, he had a pretty good hack at it last at bat. Six strikeouts <laughs> on the night thus far for Lockhart. Um, can you tell who's in the bullpen? Is that uh, Rhodes? Kind of looks like him. I think so. So we got we do have a Mustang warming up. It looks like Houston Rhodes. It is. Yep, 21. Mr. Rhodes down there looking to get some action in this game. Two balls and a strike. So we went, even when Kyle has fallen behind, he's been able to come back and battle and get hitters. He's, had a, he's pitched an outstanding game here tonight. 
at some point he's going to be like, um, I want to hit. <laughs> you know? Right. Let me, let me try and help myself here. Worked it back even there with the foul ball. Even it up at two and two now. Let's see if he can get him here. <clears throat> well, with you stepping out on Thursday, maybe I auction off your spot. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Just make sure they're not good at it. I don't want to lose my job. <laughs> okay. I I'll it. have to call Tony in again, but I'm always afraid to call him because he's just a pro. You know, he's always so good at it. Good PA announcer. Good, good Mustang supporter too. Yes, sir. Oh wow! Tied him up in knots. Strikeout number seven. Uh oh, return of the back. That's my jam right here, Joe. What, what do you? Back. You want to call that a strikeout looking or swinging? I mean, it was like. I don't know, and I'm going to try and swing, but <laughs> it was one of the ugliest things I've seen. I'm going to say it's a swing. It... Who was that? It was Todd Frazier in the playoffs when he was with the Yankees. I think it was against maybe Clements or Pettit, one of those guys. Maybe it was Berlin. I don't even remember now, but I can re remember watching that swing over and over just going, oh, my God. Goodness, this is a pro. <laughs> it was it was crazy. It happens. Pop he up does. towards Laura again. He's oh, he almost tripped over the bag. He's ooh. He a, made that one fun. He did. Two away. Number one, Joe Grant the second. Brings up Joe Grant the second. The second baseman for Tech City is uh, 0 for one with a ground out to third. Was that a one pitch at bat that last batter? I missed it. Oh, hit pretty good to left center. Encarnacion out there and will run oh, it down. Job. Too much speed out there. Yep. Between Encarnacion and Adams, it's too much to overcome. So well, you know, when you're an outfielder and nothing's been out there for five innings, <laughs> you, if you're not paying attention, you can get burned. Yeah. So nice job there by Encarnacion being uh, ready for that because it's been a lot of – Sitting around watching, and that ball was hit pretty good towards the gap. But it's a one, two, three inning. Another one Another for Lockhart. Pitch inning, eight, eight pitches that inning. So exactly what the doctor ordered here. Lock's got a one hitter thus far, correct? I believe so. I'm look, looking at my scorecard. That's the only one I see. There's no hits on the scoreboard, but um, now I know not um, for either team, and I know we have Clyde Votaw so, yeah. had had a hit, and uh, we've had several for Friendswood. Um, well, several might be stretching it, Joe. One, two, three, four, five. That's several. It's five. It's we five have five several? hits. Yeah, five singles. Uh, call that Peyton Adams. Yeah, Peyton Adams seven. has one. Maybe Dane seven. Perry has one. Uh, Blake Encarnacion has one. Uh, I think we should take a poll with the Caden Wells and, 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 and Pierce we'll Pearson. <laughs> well, a few would be three. <laughs> three. Three to five. Several is five. Several. 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 I th I'm a plethora. I'm a pl not a plethora. Not a plethora. No, no, we have not had a plethora of hits. A surplus. Not even a surplus. No, no. We've had several. <laughs> <laughs> More than a few. Whatever. <laughs> plethora. Plethora. That's just a good word. Uh, well, if, if anybody's ever seen Romance of the Stone, that's the first time <laughs> the, the general public got introduced to it. My Pepe the Mule was, <laughs> was the first time that, that cartel drug leader said plethora because he was a leader, uh, reader of what was her, what was the writer's name? In that movie? <laughs> We're so far. It's pretty off. good though, huh? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll come up with her name here in a minute. We still, uh, yeah, still Lozano on the bump. So let's start yeah. the with number 82. I think. Uh -oh. I took my glasses off because it was pink. Somebody, it, Dumbo it, the, cr the crowd is siding with you at seven <laughs> is several, five is not. Uh, there you go. See, I knew I was on to something. <laughs> five and six are a few, <laughs> he says. Got people Googling the stuff. <laughs> Uh, we got to find something to talk about here. Hey, when you come on, offense, let's go. 
We're getting well, slap I, happy in I, here. I can tell you what we don't have. We don't we don't have a few runs. Hey, well that's easy. Mm -hmm. You're right there. I'd like to put up a crooked number. It's been a while. Wells is ahead two and zero oh here. Three and zero. Oh. Mustang, that Mustang let's go. Had the leadoff runner on in the first, the fourth. <laughs> Don't say well, I'm just saying. And the and the second. That's three innings. Three balls and a strike to Wells. <clears throat> Ooh, high and tight. Right. So four innings we've had the leadoff guy on, and only once did we push him around. I kind of expect, expect to see a bunt here, even when nobody on. <clears throat> Lane coming up, been struggling a bit offensively. I, I don't know, they may do another hit and run. That seems to be working. A little check what? swing. They're going to, oh, God, dog, you better hurry. Just a late, 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 yeah, late I kind of wish they had started the ball. runner there, yeah. Well, there was just no break. I don't know if he thought it was popped and not chopped or what, but he just didn't seem to take off there. So that'll bring bring up Encarnacion. <clears throat> One out with the runner at first. Fielder's choice, Vegas will reach. I even got the boss in on it now. Chuck Lacotta acting like he has a voice here. <laughs> Easy. Easy. <laughs> I feel like uh, the comedian at the mic when you know when he starts getting heck heckled by the crowd. You're not going to beat the microphone. Oh my goodness! Did you just see that ball? That went off off the cap. Obviously, a cue shot. It almost worked its way back fair. A good job by the first baseman realizing that uh, Encarnacion never left the box. He just let it roll. If it was going to come back fair, it was going to be an easy yeah, out. easy out, right? One ball, one strike, one out. All right, let's get something going here, Blue. As in Blue Mustangs, not umpire. Not a big lead at all at first. Blake comes up empty on that swing. One and two. A good off-speed pitch there. <clears throat> Blake thought he had that one dialed in and pulled the string on him. Adams waits on deck. I'd like to see him start the runner right here. Blake had a great playoff run last year. Started mm -hmm. in the Crosby series. Man, that kid just got hot. Chases that one outside. Really close to getting back picked there at first was Vegas. Jid did just beat it, but really, really close. Two outs. Brings up the top of the order. Yeah, you're right. Aaron Carnacion last, uh, last season playing primarily left field. Did a fantastic job out there. Really came on strong, helping that team advance in the playoffs. <clears throat> Been mainly a pitcher this year. Ooh. Mustangs trying to get something going against Lozano. Grounded foul. Bam Hollier wanted nothing to do with that one. Find you a gap there, kid. Let's push a run across. They went the runner. And, ooh, the ball actually landed in the stadium. I thought that was going to get out. but uh, Yeah, a lot of foul ground here, but long way to go for the third baseman on that one. 
just not enough height under that ball for him to get there, thankfully, for Mr. Adams here. Man, now they're, now they're bad-mouthing my speed. That two-step lead at first base is called a Joe Hollier lead. Ouch. <laughs> man, I, Ow. I was fast, man. Okay. I ran sprints <laughs> the other day. I got to the fourth one, and my niece said, okay, we're not, <laughs> we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> muscle factory calls from the complete <laughs> muscle, muscle shutdown. Shut <laughs> Lined out to left. They're going to hang up there. Oh, and man. That's good. Threat's going to end softly out there in left field. Yep. And Mustangs will leave another base runner. That was pitch number 95 on the evening for Lozano. So wow. I can't imagine he's got much more in the tank. But Kyle Lockhart with not much room to play with, We're trying to keep it where it is. We'll be back at the bottom half of this inning. You're watching Friendswood Mustang Baseball on the Big Daddy Media Network. And welcome back, everyone. It, uh, it's getting to be that twilight hour. Sun is starting to go down, and the uh, Mustangs are still clinging to that one-run lead. They have left four, five, six, seven, eight, nine runners in this game, and makes it tough. I hope I hope that does not come back to bite us. Let's. So Locke will start the inning with pitch number 71. So a couple of quick pitch innings in a row really helped keep him on track. Joey Duran leading it off. He's 0 for 2. Strike out and a ground out. First pitch down low for ball one. Got some activity in the stingery pen. Two guys throwing down there for them. So that might be the end of the night for Lozano. Good breaking see. ball. Whoa. Long throwback from Piercy. Didn't get the call, and it's 2-0. and oh. Man, that was a good pitch. Two balls, no strikes. Way high. Likewise, the Stangs have two guys in their bullpen. Can't see who that is down there. I think maybe Houston's throwing on the left side there. On yeah. the right, I'm not sure who that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Four-pitch walk, though. Nothing close there. So, leadoff man on for Texas City. Number two, DJ. I imagine we might be seeing a visit from Coach here shortly. Our... Uh, Big Daddy Media CEO Chuck Licata is thrilled and proud to have the uh, Friends with Baseball on our network. We uh, love Friends with Mustang Baseball on Big Daddy Media this year. He's so Shout out to those guys. Appreciate having you. Yeah, loving the new partnership. It's great. Oh. Is that Benny or Mitchell out there for yeah, a chat? Marquee. Okay. Mitch Marquis. Pitch Pitch coach, coach Mitchell Marquis out there. Talking to his pitcher. <clears throat> Lock's been dialed in. That is 
the second walk that he's given up. No, third walk, excuse me. Yeah, when you're clinging to a one-run lead late in the game, you hate to hate to give up that leadoff walk like that. So they probably just settled him down a bit and say, hey, we've got to bear down here. You're still looking good on your pitch numbers. It's Just need to throw strikes. It's the first leadoff <laughs> they have gotten on, and it comes in the sixth inning. And bring up DJ Fuentes. 0 for 1 with a walk. You got to figure they're going to try and bunt him over. Bunts through one, throw down's late. Kind of jumped at that fastball trying yeah. to bunt it. Kind of a weird attempt there. Fastball up in the zone and really just kind of flinched at it. Kind of an awkward attempt. Not much of a lead at first. That pitch is up and it's one and one. So another key component of that meeting on the mound was probably the, the bunt coverage, knowing what's coming, knowing they're going to try to push that runner up, and get him in score position with no outs here. <clears throat> Hits sure it in is. on the grass. That pitch way outside. Well, this is, um, I mean, I think maybe Locks reaches count because when he's been missing, it's been by a little. This inning, he's been missing by a lot. Yep. And that's a telltale sign that you're, Pitcher may be getting tired. Showing bunt. Good pitch there. And that's that old saying that you, you're like, why, why are you doing that? You're helping him throw a strike. Put that bet right in the strike zone and help, help a pitcher out. Probably, two and two. Probably takes the bunt away here. I mean, we've seen it where they have bunted with two strikes, but. I expect he'll be swinging here. Little nubber. Only play's going to be at first. Well, he did his job. Still Got kind of the same result. Moved the baseball, kept it on the ground, and moved the runner up. So, Number eight. Only the second runner that yeah. Texas City has had in scoring position tonight. <clears throat> this will be pitch number 80 from Locke. <clears throat> Young, the right fielder, is up. It's 0 for 2. Whew. Man, he pulled that one out. I hadn't seen that, that pitch since the third inning. That was dirty. Yeah, started that one in on the rib cage, and it broke it right in on the inner black. Good pitch. Runner at second, one out. Another good one. Nice block by Piercy. Keeping the runner at second, and it's 0-2. Got to be smart here. Need to throw a good, well-executed pitch here. Doesn't need to be in the zone. You're way ahead. You've got him guessing. You can throw anything you want. It just needs to be in the right spot. Don't miss over the plate. <clears throat> Checks the runner. Ooh, that one did not come around. Almost got a piece of him. Yeah, I was supposed to be down and away, and it was up and in. <laughs> Almost ducked the brim of that helmet into that pitch. Young grounded out in the first, struck out in the third. Wind has really died down. Flags out in left center are hanging limp. Oh, good pitch. And good job ruining that pitch. Just got a piece of it. I think we need to elevate a fastball mm -hmm. here and then follow that up with off speed again. But I feel like he's gone to the well one too many times with the off speed here. There you go. Good hard fastball inside. That's a good pitch. Missed in, but way in. Back him up off the plate a little bit. Now you've got him set up. 
and start that hard slider that he threw a few batters ago. Two balls, two strikes, one out, runner at second. We're in the bottom of the sixth. Good pitch. Yep. Absolutely. Way to go, yeah, Locke. He set him up perfectly, just like you said, Cade. Inside pitch. Got him back on his heels on that breaking ball. And Big strikeout for Locke there. That's that was a just huge well out. pitched at bat. Yeah. Two down for the catcher, Ramos. Ramos struck out in the second and grounded out in the fourth to Wells. Good wow, pitch. breaking ball still working for Locke. Big hole on the right side. Oh. Late time call there. Wow. Umpire granted it. Mm. <clears throat> you know, I just not a fan of that. Look back at the runner. Nothing on. The 0 1 to Ramos. High heat. <laughs> it's 0 2. Well, Cade, it's a little early to be asking this, but. Apparently. Since you're not asking it. <laughs> what's, our, what's our pitch count on Lockhart? Uh, that was pitch number 88. He's at 88. He gets through this inning. Do you bring him back for the seventh? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think as a coach, you ask him how he's feeling. I mean, you've seen, you know, he started the inning looking a little fatigued, but then he's followed that up with really pounding the zone with a lot of off speed. So, you know, maybe – Talk it over, tell him, hey, look, you got, you know, you got this first batter. Let's see how it goes. And <clears throat> if he gets him, maybe you don't tell him that, but maybe as a coach you're thinking that, I'm going to give you this first batter in this inning. And if it goes well, you stick with it. And if it doesn't, then you've got somebody ready to go and change it up. But it's always a tough call. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, runner at second. Lockhart trying to keep it where it is. Number, see if it comes back fair no. <laughs> That boy, Laura, let it spin, buddy. Ball had a lot of English on it. I bet they asked for another baseball. I'll oh, keep it. It's Tech keep City, it. I would. Oh, wow. Okay. See what this pitch does. <laughs> Find that raise seam that that cap just created. Find that raise seam and break off a nasty slider right here and finish the inning. He was on that one. Hit it right off the end of the bat. See, that time was called a little earlier. I'm fine with that. that was you got something in your eye. Bug flying yeah, in his face or something, know. yeah. But, you know, Locke's been working fairly quickly. He's not, not taking a lot of time. Got him. Wow. Mm. What Atta a boy. job by Kyle He's Lockhart tonight. He's fired up. Two more strikeouts in the inning. Nine his... strikeouts on the night for Mr. Lockhart. That's huge. That's I mean, huge. He's needed every one of them. The uh, offense just needs to get him some help here. You know, you got you got a complete. This is this goes deeper because this outing by Lockhart has saved your bullpen. Right, it's, right. it was overextended against Santa Fe. He's given them this huge rest. If they do do it right, maybe only one guy throws, right? I right. mean, he is – not only he had a great outing and he's put the Mustang in a 
position to win, but he has saved this bullpen for a fresh start on, on, Thursday, on Thursday. And I do want to mention that. The game's going to be Thursday, not Friday, because of right. Easter weekend. Right. So that's, that's huge. Like you said, I mean, Locke has definitely come in and done his part. Now it's time for the offense to wake up and do theirs. And looks like we got a new pitcher on the bump for the Stingerees after all. It's number it's number five, five. Which is not, oh, Pete Hip. So he moves over from first base to take the bump. So who do we have at first base first now? Base number number 15, 15, which is Ryan Pope. So Ryan Pope comes into the game. Alec Lozano will leave the game, and Pete Hip moves over to the bump. So maybe this is just what the doctor ordered for the offense. Check out the breaking pitch. Decent. Tall, lanky pitcher. It moved. So Lozano's night ends on 95 pitches. Again, a well-pitched game for him, too, by all accounts. Gave up a few more hits, but or several. We're not sure if it's a few or several, but he gave up some. And only the one run in the first inning. So we'll see what Mr. Pete Hip has to offer. I'll get you some totals on Lozano's night here as far as balls and strikes are concerned. We have a, a net that hangs down here at the stadium, so that's what why, you know, on your scoreboard is partially covered by this huge batting net. And because uh, these cameras have to be on tripods, it's as low as we can get it without going outside <laughs> all right here we go so final tallies on Lozano 95 pitches 55 strikes 40 balls top seven <clears throat> Dawson Henson to lead it off get hard and foul just by it's been that kind of night for Dawson he's hit the ball hard a couple of times but he just hasn't been able to hit them where they ain't just coming around it a bit those hands in just a touch. Get a little more straight to the baseball. They bounce this one in there. One and one. It'd be interesting to see if he actually did hit one in the gap, whether Hollywood would send him to second base or not. Good take there. If you hit it out, then you can take your time around the bases. I mean, he's got the he's got the pop. He certainly could. No this one's lifted to right field. Lots of room. And there's one away. Up next number. Well, that'll bring up one. Mr. Perry, Dane Perry. Dane Perry. Has a lone RBI, RBI on the evening. Yeah, he may want to uh, renegotiate his contract after this game. <laughs> I'm tired of carrying the load for this team, man. I want my own lunch hour. <laughs> private bat and cage time. Good pitch. Stays low, though. Yeah, maybe a little down. Didn't miss by much. Is it 2-0? 2-0, oh? oh, yep. And you don't want to get behind Dane Perry throwing something over the plate. He will send it out of here. Hit hard, but at the third baseman, easy hop, easy play, two down. Goodness. Goodness, goodness. Well, the... The inept offense continues. Man, I just don't know what it's going to take to get these guys going again. I know it's not from lack of BP. No. Uh, Benny, Benny can hardly move his arm. Bam can hardly move his arm. They have thrown a ton of BP to these kids. 
nobody outworks this team. I mean, we just put that out there. This team works their tail off. Off-season preparation, in-season preparation. I mean, it's they work hard. They hit the weights hard. They hit the practice field hard. They're coached hard. No question. It's, it's not about preparation. Oh, Piercy reaches base for the second time. This time he's hit by, uh, by the pitch. He leads the Mustangs in that category. He does seem to, seem to get hit a lot. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? he? Brings up Laura. Laura takes a ball off the outside corner. Matt, 0 for 2 with a walk. Had a four-pitch walk back in the sixth inning. That one catches the corner, and it's 1-1. One one. Yeah, that was a good backdoor breaking ball there. and An even better take by Laura not to try to do something with that pitch. He had 1-0 in the count. Let that one go. Try to make him make a mistake. Middle end that you can drive into right field here. So. <laughs> Art Carnacion texts in and says, Shania and Kate are sounding prodigious as usual. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I love it. <laughs> Good pitch. Down low, and it's three and one. Yeah. Laura looking like Bregman up there with his knowledge of the zone. Yeah, I'm Just telling laying you, off some tough pitches. Great location, great take. Runs the count full. Good breaking ball right over the middle of the plate. Laura thought it was up. Caught the top of the zone. All right, runner will be going here. Full count, two outs. Laura's able to find a gap out there. Some kind of two out rally would be nice, wouldn't it? <clears throat> there goes the runner. Down low, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks to Laura. And Doing his job, finding a way on base. And Mustangs. Got to get something going. Get two more on for Caden Wells. Wells started the evening at 327 hitter coming in. Oh, stand corrected. This is Drew Smith. Oh, Caden Drew Wells. Smith, not Caden Wells. So 385 hitter coming in. So even better. Check swing, I'm going to say he went. Strike one. Find a gap. Right center's looking really open. Another strike. Ooh, that was good a good pitch, pitch to go that way, too. Kind of a hanging, breaking ball up and away, but in the zone. Let's go, Drew. Battle kid. 0-2, oh, two, two outs, two on. Mustangs have left nine on thus far in this game. Lined softly, and it will drop into right field. They're going to send the runner. The throw home is way off line. Oh, what? It's going to be close. Just barely beat it. Oh, wow. my goodness. They, He stopped halfway, that, and he would have made it easily yeah. had he not stopped running, but he made it close. I think it's the right call, ultimately. Certainly yeah. was a lot closer than it needed to be. Like you said, if he That was no running, running. If he continues running, he's there easy, but he did get hung up there, and then when he saw the throw was way off line, then he went again, and just barely beat the catcher to the plate. And then a nice heads-up base runner by Laura to move up to third on that while they were kind of arguing the call. Laura took off her third and, and beats the throw down there. The catcher ended up having to throw from his seat. So and first and third now for Caden Wells. A big <clears throat> two-out hit from Drew Smith. Just, just got over the glove of the second baseman. And with two outs... 
Knowles is able to come around and score. <laughs> Made it tough on himself, but he did score. Another looper towards right field. This one much more playable. And that will end the inning. But the Mustangs do push across an insurance run on the uh, clutch two-out hit from Drew Smith. Yeah, the way this game is going, that insurance run couldn't be more appreciate, appreciated. They do leave a couple more. Looks like but they do push one across. So 2 nothing as we head to the bottom of the seventh. Looks like we're going to get a new pitcher. New pitcher. Yep. New pitcher coming into the game is number 20, Cooper Harris. So closer coming in to close it out. We'll keep it here. We'll keep Let's it here. That. Yeah, it was in. Uh, so we scored one in the first inning and one in the last inning. Hey, book in runs. <laughs> Let's go. Let's book into dub right here. Uh, Going to see a little bit different velocity. Yeah, and, a lot uh, bit different. I like, I like the, uh, I like the move. I do too. And Mustangs trying to get back on the winning side of things after being swept by Santa Fe last week. And the nice thing about it is you got guys coming in now without traffic on the bases, you know. A, this, right. this is your job. Come in and close, close this down. Just keep it around the zone. Throw strikes. What a job by Lockhart tonight. Man, I'll tell you. Um, his team his first start of the season, right, yep. in district play. And uh, Mustangs reeling after the 0-2, losing two games to Santa Fe and just trying to get back on things. And then Lockhart gets a start, throws a gym, nine strikeouts. Yeah, lock ends the night on 92 pitches. And I'm going to get all the totals totaled up here for you. 92 pitches, 9 Ks, and I believe a one-hitter. Is that right? I'm looking hard. I, I, that is pit number 17, Fly Volta. Three walks and one hit. So 56 strikes and 36 balls. So pretty efficient night overall. Had a long second inning, but other than that, well, second and third were a few pitches, but had several low pitch count innings that really kept him in this game. Third baseman Votal to lead it off. Takes ball one from Cooper Harris. Fouls this one off, and it's one and one. Foul straight back, one and two. Is uh, Case Meyer still at Alvin, or where did he end up? Do we know? I'm not sure. I know he went there. I don't know if he's still there or not. Whew, good slider. Breaks out off the plate, though, and it's two and two. So Locke, only 22 batters faced. <clears throat> yeah. Through those six innings. And out of those, let me see here. Got him. Beautiful pitch. <clears throat> Froze him with the breaker. And there's one away. Nice job there by Harris. So Kyle Lock, yeah. final numbers, 92 pitches. 22 batters faced, 13 first pitch strikes, 56 strikes overall, and 36 balls. So very good outing, like you said. Yeah, only four base runners reaching 
in this game. And only two made it to second base. Ooh, man. Cooper comes out dealing, <laughs> You know, too. that's just filthy. Filthy, filthy. That breaking slider. Man, oh, man. He's thrown two of them. He can throw anything he wants now. Tried to go with gas. Maybe overthrew it a little bit. It's one and two. Yeah, got a little quick on that yep. one. Wow. Two down. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Number 18, Nathan Hudnall. Brings up the DH, Nathan Hudnall. Mustangs trying to go to three and one on the district play. <clears throat> need, it, need one more out. Good pitch on the outside corner. Called a ball. One and one. Yes. That's 93-94. Slider. Days down. Two and one. Throws that for a strike. It's unhittable. And these, let me tell you, that these guys want nothing of it. Down low. Three balls and a strike. You figure he, with down two runs, he's taken all the way here. You would think so. Overthrows it for ball four. So a two-out walk will bring the tying run to the plate. Back next, number 11. Brandon Hernandez. Brings up Brandon Hernandez, the right fielder. <clears throat> That's my jam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Robin. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> it's Return of the Mac. <laughs> Okay, whatever. <laughs> Call strike. Another. Ooh, look out, Blue. <laughs> Good job by Cooper just to yeah, finish his. Throw it. His wind up there. That would have been a strike, too. Yeah. Come back with it. You like that one even better, bud? Yeah, oh, two. Buddy. He threw it's, that yeah. last pitch. There was a no pitch. He, it was a fastball. I think the, <laughs> the hitter was thinking. Yeah, you can step fastball. out all you want, but the, the inevitable is coming. Yeah. And you better be more ready to, to hit than try and uh, uh, disrupt his uh, pitching motion. He's doing it again. If Cooper Harris can keep from beating, <laughs> yeah. beating this guy. Yeah, I just think that's – Oh, yeah. tells me your head's in the wrong place as a batter if you're trying to play mind games with a pitcher in this situation. You really just need to be focused on moving to baseball and helping your team right here. Oh. One ball, two strikes, two outs, runner at first. Brandon Hernandez, the right fielder, trying to keep this inning alive. Cooper Harris trying to end it here. The one-two. Got him. Good pitch. So Mustangs finally. Back in the win column, Joe. We're back in the win column, but it's, you know, I, I don't know. Is there such things an ugly win? It, it, it was a beautiful pitching performance by the uh, Mustangs pitching staff. Lockhart going six innings, giving up only one hit. And then uh, Cooper Harris doing Cooper Harris things, coming in and striking out the side. 
And uh, yeah, takes in uh, 19 pitches, 11 strikes, eight balls. Maybe that's maybe Can that's going to be job. more the the usual. Um, you know, we, you said it during the break with to me is that you, you know we've been spoiled, and there's a lot of truth to that. Um, yeah, last last four or five years we have been spoiled, <laughs> pitching pitching and hitting right. So it's been uh, it's been difficult to sit here and watch these guys struggle a little bit at the plate. But um, this pitching staff is going to keep them in pretty much every game. Um, yeah, and that's saying something too. I mean, even even our pit, we've been spoiled even by pitching. The, even the pitching stat is different now. They're they're getting it done. The ERAs are down. The you know the overall um, runs scored by the other team are down, but in a different way. You know, we were used to. Guys like Rogers and Case Meyer and Tumis that were, you know, seventy to eighty percent strikes all night long, and it's a, it's a little bit different mix. Um, we don't have really the overpowering guys that we've had in the past um, that could just go out there and challenge you with with gas and then make you look foolish with all speed. These guys are having to be more crafty and and and, and really pitch and locate, uh, but they're getting it done. Yeah. Um Blake Encarnacion has the stuff to be one of those guys. Um, struggled a little bit in his last outing, uh, about 50-50 on the ball strike ratio. Right. But, but you know, he honestly, they probably kept him in uh, an inning too long. He was up there in the 90 pitch count range when, when they brought him back out. And hit, by then he was just out of gas. But, I mean, when he, even when he struggled at 50-50, still kept the Mustangs in the game, right? I mean, we, we were there. We had a lead. Um, it's just, um, man, yep. the, the offense has, has just struggled. Yep, it's just the, the lack of that kind of timely uh, situational hitting uh, that they haven't they have had thus far this year, at least here in district play. Um, you know, obviously, though, 17-3-1, you know, we're, we're – we're yeah. splitting hairs here. I mean, we are. I mean, we're, it's still a phenomenal team, and uh, coach well, and a lot of talent out there. So they got some things to work on, but they're getting it. Yeah. Well, it's good to see them come back with a good, strong performance tonight, and and tip my cap off to uh, Kyle Lockhart and the job he did to uh, to uh, get the Mustangs back in the win column. They moved to three and one in District 18 5A, and as you mentioned, 17 three and one overall. So they'll they'll keep pace with. Uh, uh, the boys that are just a game ahead of them, Santa Fe and Galveston Ball. And, again, Galveston Ball is, is still on our, our plate. and um, Santa Fe is still going to have to go to Angleton <laughs> and face, the, face those two good uh, pitchers that Angleton has. So yep. I think it's going to be a, a, a dog fight, as it always is in, in this uh, district. But uh, it's certainly nice to get back on the right side of things. Yeah, certainly setting up to be an exciting uh, year of district play. Definitely uh, uh, going to be – a lot tougher road. Well, that'll do it for us here in Texas City. For Cade Lyco, I'm Joe Hoyer. Thanks for joining us tonight. Once again, your Friendswood Mustangs win this one over Texas City 2 to nothing, And we will be back for the uh, uh, second game between these two teams on Thursday as uh, they move the game up for the uh, Easter weekend. But that'll, that'll do it for us tonight. Good night, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Good night, folks.